have to start from scratch again or no, what does it no, mean no 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 it, 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 no i'm mm -hmm. not starting from scratch i'll, I'll continue from where i left off right? uh, it's, oh, okay it's, it's just the uh, dependencies that I, I i need so ah okay so it sounds like a frustration and an inconvenience but something that you'll be able to take care of right yes yes definitely okay before you Okay, good. So before I release you, uh, Michael, have you been able to get the data from the public API? Y yes. For your um, week's challenge. What, what, what I am I'm trying to implement is, I've seen that mm -hmm. when you, when you um, quit, I mean, when you send in um, your data through, um, through requests, you can get a yeah. JSON file. So what I'm mm -hmm. trying to do is I want to extract the then I want to extract the names from the text file. I'm extracting the names from the text file they added on the uh, platform, and then I want to get the boundaries and then get the um, though the uh, geometry from the shape um, from the uh, JSON file the API returns, so that when when you put in um, when you put in a boundary. I check through the geometry to see if it, if it is contained in a particular uh, name, then mm -hmm. I use, I retrieve that name and then work on the points from there. So that is what I'm trying to implement now. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know if Obaki is in the room, but here's some of the things that we are hoping that you will have. This is what we need for the interim. Okay. We need you to, we need you need to we need you to have the following okay we need you to be able to get the data based on user input we need you to be able to document your work and know what to do and when and it, do get issues or project that shows your work plan okay that's what we need you to be able to do by the interim so for everyone in this room what we want for you for this stand up is to tell us what's your progress okay when it comes to some of the key areas focused on the uh, the interim today of the three things that i've just mentioned what which one have you been able to pull off so far and what's your progress okay i'm just going to copy paste the three things okay and then if questions and concerns please i'll see say the other person with a upside down face not now, are you here? Yes, I'm here. How are you? Oh, I'm Hello. Fine, thank you. How are you not now? Mm, I'm good. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm kind of good. Okay. I think my network is lagging, I guess. It could be mine as well, but can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Okay, great. So give us an update and start with the, what's frustrating you. Okay, uh, mainly there are many documents to go through and understanding the data by itself is a challenge, but I'm asking a couple of friends uh, of mine and others and also the group from previous and uh, <clears throat> I just copied the pipeline from the PDAL code and tried to create a Python file to uh, automatically fill some of the fields. Uh, I think that's one thing, but uh, I couldn't actually view the data or what the data actually looks like or anything. So it's a bit, uh, bit confusing for me. There are many moving variables, I guess, in my head. I couldn't tell which one is which and how it's spotted. Yeah. Okay, thank you for sharing that. I'm trying to see if there's anyone here. Malet, are you here? Malet? Okay, maybe she stepped out. Uh, but not now, please do not stay in confusion alone, okay? 
there's a host of people willing and able to help you. Okay, and if you if you guys need another tutorial or just a Q and A session, let us know. Okay, and we'll make it happen. Great. So the next person who's going to go through is uh, Blaze Papa, the guy with the deeper suit. Blaze, are you here? Hi, yes, I am. Good morning, everyone. Ah, good morning, Blaze. As for me, also, I think, I mean, I'm not at rock bottom, but I'm actually climbing back up. So I wasn't really conversant with okay. what the project was doing. But I managed to reach out okay. to Bakar and he's been of great help. So I'm slowly but surely understanding it. And hope, and oh. with, I think also like the resources shared by the fellow, the fellow members mm -hmm. have been able to at least grasp what is meant to be done. Okay. So... Now that you say you can grasp, explain it to me, yeah, like what you understand, mm -hmm. like you would to, not a five-year-old, but like a mm -hmm. thirteen-year-old. Okay. What's please. the project asking? Mm -hmm. So, um, in this case, we have Amazon who have, who have very kindly shared some data, or some special data, mm -hmm. but you have to realize that this mm -hmm. data is very hard to process. It comes with a lot of okay. bond, a lot of uh, features. It comes in a mm -hmm. JSON file, this file format, mm -hmm. and this, in this case, it's a PDL. And this mm -hmm. PDL has its own pipeline, like the way it processes itself. So it has various features in this case. Um, and you, the format is quite you, different. Please, <laughs> use so, simple language. How would you explain it to a 13 year old, what you understand? Okay, when, when you do open this PDL file, mm -hmm. um, you do select, let's say, a region you probably want to, uh, want to draw a region on a computer. Yeah. yeah. So I take in that PDL file and I, I, have, I have to specify the file like the, from which, from the repository, let's say this data set that uh, the USG3, I specify which, in this case, the location, let's say for most of people who have interacted with Iowa. So it's IWS in free state, if I'm not wrong, I state or something, then slash the, the whatever the format is. From that, it gives me boundaries. And these boundaries show the region, like, for example, if we were to look in a map, a certain point will have certain boundaries. Let's say X, X marks, X mean, shows the boundaries, let's say in a polygon way or inside a feature. Mm -hmm. From there, we want to process this data and we have a pipeline. A pipeline is like a steps that are followed to process this data. And we use uh, the PDL, which has various functions, uh, depending from filters, from output, from out, out files, those type of things. So throughout that process, we're trying to make a pipeline such that uh, the user in this package, the user just defines uh, various variables. In this case, probably I want to have a look at, uh, let's say if this state is Iowa, I want to have a look at Iowa or different states like Golden State. Probably I want to have a look at Golden State. Mm -hmm. uh, this particular package is meant to go through that whole pipeline and create a visualization that the user is actually mm -hmm. can actually has been made for like it's easier for the user to actually visualize this from this data so a package is like mm -hmm. the api like a wrap around so that it can actually visualize properly mm -hmm. hopefully i've gotten it right okay okay uh i think you have although you've not explained it simply malat are you here uh, I don't know if you're still in the room, Malet. But if you can, maybe you can give a comment or, or something. Is that an accurate representation of the assignment? Okay. Yeah, you're a bit on the far side, but are you there? Yeah. So, good morning, everyone. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Malek. Go on. Okay. To, to give some comments, if they are able to have uh, the data from the API, that's almost the yeah. biggest challenge. And uh -huh. uh, the processing part is not that much, uh, so they can go with that. So the, the mm -hmm. way they process it, the way they can take sample and they can try to simulate whatever is on the document. And after that, mm -hmm. they, they will they can inter, 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 uh, integrate that one 
as a general pipeline for processing geodata. Okay. So okay. I recommend that you just repeat. try to download just try to download one data set or mm -hmm. single small file data set, then try go with that. After that, you will be able to know how the data look like, the data structure, the nature of the data, plus what's asked there, just to integrate concepts okay. with the data as well as the requirement. Okay. Thank you. So, thank, uh, you. thank you for that, Malet. Okay. Okay. So, what we, what we want to find out right now in the session is uh, the progress you've made so far, guys, when it comes to the interim assignment and the challenges that you're facing. We are a bit apprehensive that you guys are not asking questions. And uh, it's hard to know whether you're understanding good or there's something happening. So if you can just start, uh, Jakinda, you'll go next. If you can just start by telling us this is how far I have come so far in the in the process of doing the interim and these are the challenges I'm facing. That's what I wanted to talk about. Okay, so Jakinda, you can go on. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, good according, morning. okay, for, let me start with the profile. So uh, I, I've built my first, the first page of the profile and I've sent it out to, for review as I continue building the second part. Uh, for the project, uh, I was able to follow uh, Abu Bakr's tutorial and uh, the resources he offered uh, on reading the, the data with uh, PayPedal. And uh, I was able to, uh, I got an error which I fixed, but uh, I'm still trying to figure that part out properly, the reprojection error. So uh, the only issue that I have is uh, when it comes to the bounds. I don't, uh, I understand that you're supposed to get the, the pipeline is supposed to get the data. And from the data, we are supposed to extract, after we get the T file, we're supposed to get the, uh, a S S H P file, and then we get the GeoJSON. Uh, until there, I think I don't know if I'm correct. Uh, if that's the flow until there, but when it comes to the bounds, if a user is inputting the region states and uh, the bounds, how they are going to know the bounds? That's where the question is. So I went to the Entwine website to try and see what the bounds are there. So. My question is, will the user always, will they have to always go to the Entwine website to get the bounds so that they input or uh, how are we supposed to go around that? That's my question. Thank you, Jakinda. Uh, Mala, are you able to offer a comment here or do you think we should have a brief Q and A at some point uh today in the morning? Uh, Malet. Let me just let me just add something. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um to, to answer um Jakinda's questions, the since it's a package and then the the request is that you view the package and then the user will like input the bounce is expected that the uh, the user would know the bound that they want and then they can like input it your the, the, i think the thing you should like undo is when they input a particular bound when the user input a particular bound you should um you should um uh, um you know check the bound and make sure it's in the region that has been specified so w once you pass in uh, once you are querying in uh, the a particular region the ept.json file that you are getting you have like a request i would like get that EPT JSON and then it will compute the bounds that are there. If you like um, look through the EPT JSON, you would notice the main marks, I mean the main X, the main Y, and then you can like write an if statement that just check if a particular value is bigger than this, that means that particular bound is not in that boundary and then you can get um, points um, cloud data from that, which means uh, you should just report and say, no, this won't work or yes, it will work, something like that before you then actually run the pipeline. Do you get it? Yeah, I get it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Uh, I have that. a similar question regarding the topic. So 
Sorry. Okay, and, and I want you guys to be Hello? able to ask those questions. Go ahead. Okay. But hi. Yeah. Hello. Uh, good good morning. Right? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Okay. Every time. Okay, go on. Yeah, I had a similar question regarding the topic. Like, there are a lot of uh, co coordinate systems, and uh, the we are we are expected to uh, be able to or allow the user to input any type of uh, CRS uh, input, right? Based on boundary, yes. Yeah, yeah. We, we should allow the user to input the data, the coordinates based on the CRS he he wants, right? Yes. Yeah. So there are a lot of CRS uh, CRS uh, uh, types. So we have to check each and every type of CRS. Uh, is there a library that, that you can direct us to that can that does this? Already. Now specifically check um, the different kind of CRS. Yeah. Yeah. The 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 um, the idea behind the checking CRS and then the the boundary is that they would specify a particular boundary you you define. So in in our case we can um, limit it to one particular CRS and then if we want to like develop it on a more bigger scale and then we can like factor in the different kind of uh, CRS that they want. From my understanding, we would just pass in a particular um, boundary and then that would return a, a, a CRS for us and then we are expected to like um, reproject it or convert it based on the needs of the user. So there's, there's not like a particular library that I know that checks for CRS. Yeah, I wanted to, I wanted a library or a way to provide a, a validation for the boundaries that the user will provide based on the CRS he chooses. But there are a lot of CRSs, and uh, providing validation for each type of CRS would be a tedious task. I thought that there might be a module that has already implemented this. I, there could be, but I'm not aware. I, I would um, search, and then if I get anything I'll, I'll post on the rocket chat okay but but uh, this, uh, uh, earlier yesterday i also asked you about arc uh, js yeah on arc js uh, there is also an implementation where when i was going through the uh, one of the starter uh, codes like the pi 3 day i think uh, they yeah. used the uh, arc js uh, Web uh, Web API, and they the Web API okay, already um, has the. Okay. <laughs> Milky, allow me to interrupt you. Yeah. Uh, this looks like it's going very technical. So the two things, yeah, we can have uh, a tutorial or we can have this conversation on Rocket Chat because this is something that's obviously very important for you guys and everyone else to know. So this is a conversation that we can be able to have. Okay. Uh, for this stand up, what I'd like to know from a number, we can go with around five more people. We want to hear progress. If you have technical questions, we will have a time for them, but we want to hear what progress you have. Okay. And if you have any specific challenges, also just let us know and then uh, we'll be able to address them accordingly. Okay. So that's what we will do for now, because it's important for us to hear from more people and our time is a bit limited as well. But we appreciate you asking those questions. So um, the next person I'm going to go to is Kate. Kate Njoki, are you here? Hello, yes, I'm here. Um, yes. Okay, so, so for uh, the progress, um, I was able to follow Abu Bakr's tutorial yesterday and I was trying to implement it. Then I came across an error, but I'm going to have a Jimmy to teach Jakind after this so that he can show me there's something I need to fix mm -hmm. in my code. Um, okay. uh, when it comes to the interim report, I started working on it yesterday night. 
and hopefully I'll be able to submit on time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So, great. Thank you. Thank you for that, Kate. Let us see someone else. Who's going to go next? Oh, and Kate, just as a bit of a side chat, we have a pending session you and I. I will DM you the details sometime today. So, uh, Michael Techley. Michael Techley, are you here? Michael Techley, are you here? Hello. Uh, yes, can you hear me? Hi. Yeah, good morning. Yes, good morning, Cindy. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, yesterday I was working on the code on the uh, paddle, like uh, uh, loading the data sets. Uh, and I've created mm -hmm. some libraries uh, for myself uh, to do that. Uh, but I'm facing like a little bit of problem on uh, uh, insta mm -hmm. installing a paddle library using the PIP. I tried Condas, but it wasn't, uh, I had. Some, I had some problem with Condas before, so I was using PIP, but it wasn't working for me. Uh, I could use it on my terminal uh, paddle, but I can't use it. Uh, uh, I can I can't import it as a library. Uh, if anyone have fixed this problem, I would like to hear from them. Okay. So your challenge is uh, the importation thing, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. You kind of, this Alpaca is going to organize for a time where all those questions are going to get addressed and those challenges as well. So uh, do not fret, but thank you for sharing what your update and the challenges with us. So that is good. Uh, Stacy Kibika, are you here, Stacy? Yeah, good morning. Good morning, Stacy. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. So what's your uh, progress for okay. the interim? Give us an update. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't started working on my report, but uh, I think uh, for the uh, for the other technical part, uh, I'm on track. I'm able okay. to get the user you data. And, You've been uh, able to yeah, get the user data? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That is good. That is really good to know. Thank you for that. Um, great. Let's see who can go next. Is there someone with anything burning that they feel like we need to address? Or should I just choose someone randomly? Desmond or Nam? Yes, good morning, Cindy. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you, Desmond. Thank you for the good energy. Okay, give us an update. Uh, well, from my side, I have still been trying to figure out uh, how to go about this. I think I asked Stacy how to go about it, but um, I have I've been working on uh, the report a little bit mm -hmm. so that I can just try and understand but um, mm -hmm. I have already created my uh, my repo. I'm trying to work on how to uh, go about the code and the data. Mm -hmm. I was just mm -hmm. trying to understand uh, what the leader data is all about. And um, uh, I think I am good. I'm making some good progress. Yes. Yeah, so you feel confident? Yeah, I feel confident. Ah, good. I like to hear that. Great. So uh, I think the person who's going to close us out today is uh, Semensh. Semensh, are you here? Semensh Demolash. Good morning. Good morning. Mm. Talk to us. For my okay uh, for my side i i just try to write the pipeline and i'm still had some issues on on that because i i didn't read the data 
Okay, so uh, what issues? Yeah, I was looking for her and I took some, some of my colleagues. And so those I asked told me that they, they are working on it. So I have I have to ask another person. person I think. Okay. So you don't have to ask individuals sometimes when you're having a tutorial. I think you have to. Uh, asking in a group of people a lot of times is not two or three people. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. So, guys, we have a we have a team meeting coming up. But I want to be I want to I don't want to close out on anyone who has something urgent they'd like to talk about. Is there anyone who has any banning thing they'd like us to address before we close this out? A question, a concern, anything at all? Okay, great. Uh, we'll call it a session and uh, we will see you on Rocket Chat. Great, great.